Billy Besant is here with us today. How are you doing? Well, doing good. Good to be here. Yeah. Now, you're part of the WRB project. Can you just describe what that is, basically? Absolutely. Uh, The WRB project was something that I started about 10 years ago. I used to record under the monitor just WRB, and then I went a couple of years ago, we changed it to the WRB project as I started adding a couple of vocalists in to record music with me. And um, I brought in a couple different singers. So it became a project and that's kind of where it came from. Um, I was a big fan of uh, like Alan Parsons project, Joe Perry project. So I kind of went off of that and we ended up um, recording in that way. And it, it worked out well. Yeah, and calling it a project makes it sound maybe a little bit more exciting than a normal. It, it band. does, absolutely. It's a it's a great thing. I enjoy it. Uh, I usually try to compose most of the music, um, but I'm really not the greatest vocalist in the world. So I brought in a couple of vocalists I've worked with in the past in different bands and. They really helped me out. Yeah, and how did you meet these people then? Um. Well. I used to play in a band back in the um, mid 80s, 90s um, called Reentry, and I had met Rick Stick Palm through them. Uh-huh. And then after that in the 90s, I played in another band, local band called One Foot Rooster. And mm. um, I met Justin Thompson through that. Now, Justin really helped me out because yeah. when he came in, he was able not only to sing, but he composed songs with me and he can play guitar. So that uh-huh. really helped me. It kind of put a lot, a lot of the pressure off of me trying to write everything and do all the bass work and keyboards and drums myself. So yeah. big help. Yeah, for sure. And how come before it became a project, you called it WRB by yourself rather than just using your name as the act? Absolutely. That's a good question. I, I noticed that when I went by just my name, people thought like, like a Facebook page or YouTube mm. They didn't really realize it was a band. And when I started going to my initials, which were WRB, I basically went through that just to kind of separate myself from just using my name. And Mm. um, it was when I got with the, 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 I got with Warren, Warren talked me into basically making it a project. And I think that really helped. I, I didn't want to be in a band anymore because of the drama Mm. and I didn't want to do the play out and go through that anymore. So that's why I basically went from WRB to WRB project. And I, that's where it all came from. Yeah. I guess there's a lot of bands that end up with some disagreement along the way. There's a few bands that have been around for decades and decades and you just wonder how do they do it without having a massive fallout? Absolutely. A lot of stress. It could be a lot of drama yeah. um, playing out. It can be stress on my family, even mm-hmm. um, my wife. It it did help when I built my home studio and I started to do just you know, stay to myself and I could, you know, record when I wanted to write when I wanted to. Um, there wasn't the stress or drama of all that. And it made a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. So how did you first get into music then when you were younger? Absolutely. When I was in seventh grade, uh, back in the late seventies, early eighties, I started playing guitar I just was so interested in it because I was really into Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, them kind of bands, classic rock. And I wanted to play guitar bad. I, I started to learn guitar, but the two guitar players I was playing with at the time were just so phenomenal. I yeah. decided I better switch to bass guitar. I basically am a bass guitar by trade. And that's when I kind of got into it. I was able to learn guitar, learn bass, and then the keyboards and the drum tracks and all that kind of followed. Yeah. But I, I call myself a bass player by, by trade. Mm. And who do you feel has influenced your musical style? Oh, definitely. Like I said, Pink Floyd is yeah. huge in my, in my, in like the style, the keyboards, the acoustic guitar, you know, yeah. Uh, huge in my life. Um, 
I led Zeppelin. He is definitely huge. I love Hendrix. Um, and then even more modern bands. Uh, I really do mm -hmm. like some of the new modern bands, uh, even on the heavier side, like a Ginger or mm -hmm. Lamb of God. I can really diversify and I really love even classical music like Mozart. So I'm kind of all over the place, but I really, my roots are Pink Floyd, definitely. <laughs> and it's great because a lot of modern artists these days are themselves inspired by artists from decades gone by so you can hear that nostalgic quality in their music yeah. today so it kind of still works for it, the older absolutely. generations oh it's great and when i hear stuff like that right by even other local musicians i yeah. i can hear it in what they're playing and i i love it i do i any kind of uh that influence like that with classic rock is just it's it's really it's home it really does mm, absolutely and is rock the genre that you've always wanted to do uh, i yes i really i my my family i grew up actually in a family full of but they loved country music and mm. i kind of tended to go more towards rock music and um i really never got into anything else other than rock i do mm. like like i said classical and i do like different styles of rock where anywhere from classic rock to heavy metal but i kind of always fall back to that classic feel mm. i even when i get done recording a song a new song that i've been working on i can still feel that classic rock yeah. all the way yeah absolutely and what's next for the WRB project? Have you got any projects that you're working on at the moment? Yes, we do have a couple more songs that um, seems like songs are starting to roll quite well. Um, mm. Like I said, I with me bringing in Justin recently, yeah. um, it really helps to have that other influence on composing and playing guitar. Yeah. Um, we're, we're just going to continue to do that. We enjoy it. Um, it kind of keeps us, you know, centered as far as our direction. And we we want to keep just making music that people really enjoy. And they, when they when I talk to them after they hear it, they go, they hits home for them. Mm, yeah, it's great to have a collaborative partner in there because it just simply makes the music better. You have more ideas. Absolutely. Yeah. And when you're not making music, do you get up to anything exciting in your spare time? Oh yeah, but we spend. I do. I do have a job, so I spend a lot of time at my job. Yeah. But um, I do like to spend time with my family. Mm -hmm. um, I that's the family is is huge for me. Uh, if I'm not spending time making music or at work, I'm definitely spending time with my wife and spending time with my friends. Um, I don't kind of push it too far. I would say I don't. Yeah. I don't go out and you know do anything too crazy. But yeah. I enjoy family. Yeah. And how's the pandemic been for your music? Finally, have you kind of had a little Ooh. bit more time to be at home making stuff, or have you kind of been disappointed at not being able to go out and perform live? No, actually, the pandemic has helped me tremendously. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to believe to say that, but mm. it's actually put me in my home studio more than I expected to be. Yeah. And that's a good thing. So uh, over the past year, 15 months, I could see our creativity just explode. I, I mean, the, the amount of the music that we have put out recently has been phenomenal. Yeah. And um, you can see it in our new videos on YouTube. When we post new videos, the amount of response we are receiving now has been climbing more and more every time we release something. Mm. And it's a beautiful thing. I, I, I'm i very happy with how everything's worked out. Yeah, for sure. Well, if we're interested in hearing all your music, where are we able to have a little listen to it everywhere? Absolutely. Uh, everybody can go to YouTube and they just look, search WRB Project. Yep. Uh, you can go to Facebook and look up the WRB Project there. And... Mm. Um, or you, you can write to me personally if somebody would like to talk to me. Um, 
it's the WRB project at yahoo.com. Um, I'm always willing to talk to people and, you know, hear what they have to say. I've received letters from all over the world and it's a beautiful thing. I, yeah. I love hearing from people. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been great having you here. Thank you for having me.